First, make sure that your face is properly cleansed and you have your primer on. Step two, if you need to do any kind of color correction, now's the best time. Since we are doing 
goth makeup, whiter the better. Okay, and just slowly pat this all over to set your foundation and your concealer. This is just an e.l.f. brush I have. I actually have just, you know, some odds and ends brushes, so I don't actually have one that I actually always use for powder or always use for blush or always use for eyeshadow. Just what seems like the right one for that place that I'm getting. That's the one I usually pick up. And then just make sure that your powder is set. Press it into the skin instead of dragging it along because that can pull your foundation and your concealer away from where you want it. And this is kind of a stippling brush too, they call them. I try to get this in on some of the smaller areas to help pack it in a little bit more densely. keep going on and on with this I'm going to get more and more on the neck and the ears even if you're not doing a full body makeup like I'm going to be doing if you're whatever is sticking out your ears are uh, your shoulders, your uh, cleavage, your chest part, whatever you want to call it, make sure that's covered too so that everything kind of blends in and if you don't want it to be as white as it is up here, kind of have it go down in a gradient where it more matches your skin. That might look okay too. So I'm just going to finish touching up my powder here and then we are going to get into contouring. 